Frankie D. Jones, agent, has been seen at Manchester at Carrington in there for you. Ericsson Medic has been scheduled. Terrell Malasia, everything completed, done and dusted. And unveiling him is going to happen in the next 48 hours. Christian Ericsson, too, signs for Manchester United soon. Then Lisandro Martinez is pushing for move to Manchester United. And the story is saying that, or indicating that, he might be a Manchester United player before this week ends. Before the United team or Entridge flies to Bangkok, then he he's going to be one of those players at Manchester United. Welcome to United Matters channel. I go by the names of Rock and David. Smash the like button, comment and share. And if you're watching us for the very first time, endeavor to go into the lower right bottom corner, smash the subscription button after smashing it, hit the notification bell to enable you get notified each and every time I put a video onto this channel in here onto United Matters channel. Let's get into the story. Frankie De Jong and Danny Van Bicke's agent has been at Manchester United and remember he's the same agent as that of a player who goes by the names of Danny Van Bink. So they've been here and Malasia, sorry, Malasia, Frankie De Jong and Danny Van Bink. That is Dusan, is it Alsik in there for you? He's the agent of those players in there for you. So he's having two players at Manchester United. You see him there has been Carrington and then with, with, Lindelof in there for you. So he's expected to land another major signing at Manchester United in the names of in the names of Frankie. It's not Frankie. It's in the names of Frankie De Jong in there for you. So thank you guys for watching. It. Smash the like button, comment and share. And if you're totally watching us for the very first time, endeavor to go into the lower right bottom corner and talk to us in there for you. That is Victor Lindelof and the agent of a player who goes by the names of do sad in there for you. So he has been at Old Trafford and he has really done lots of things in there for you as he really brings in Malaysia to become another red devil in there for you. So hope you've liked him in there for you and he's doing great work. You never know he's being at Carrington might be might be might be really that might be discussing the decision to bring Frankie De Jong at Manchester United. For Frankie De Jong, I know deals are in advanced stages and Barcelona has started has started to go ahead and really unveiled two players they signed on a free that is Frankie Casey and the player who goes by the names of Christiansen. Frank Casey from Chelsea on a free and sorry Frank Casey from AC Milan on a free and Christiansen from Chelsea from a free in there for you so I think Barcelona didn't want to really sell De Jong before they start unveiling some of the players they've bought in here for you and I know they've gone into a common understanding with Manchester United but please let us don't go and let this player go before we really unveil in ours because you must understand the situation of our fellow people in here in Barcelona in there for you so that's what we had for you in that side then we go to this United has been appealing this in 2013 and it say that good news the UK government will now allow standing areas at matches after successful trials so many fans worked for years to achieve this fans were ignored and seared at but persisted and finally succeeded TBF clubs like Manchester United supported the idea from 2013 so we are really going to see fans standing not sitting but standing in there for you in those 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 turns in there for you so we are really waiting to see how they're really going to come in through and happen but we wait and see how fans are really going to enjoy that moment because they've been car they've been really crying for it for so long time not everyone wants to be on the pitch seated some want to be standing <coughs> all right Sorry about that, but let's go to Terrell Malasia has now successfully completed the second part of, of medical tests and signed his contract as new United player. Manchester United are preparing the contracts for Christian Eriksson after his green light to three years offer in there for you. So Terrell Malasia has completed his medical at Manchester United. Everything has been signed. Now we are waiting for him to be unveiled. I don't believe that United would like to unveil just one player. I think they want to unveil like three at once. So it might really happen in the next 48 hours. 
because they know that even Frankie de Jong can be done in the next 40, 40, 48 hours. But even Christian Sen, not Christian Sen, it's Ericsson. After all, they come from the same country. Ericsson is expected to undergo his medical tomorrow. So I know they will come in and really unveil them together at Carrington. <laughs> Therefore, so Malasia, welcome to Manchester United. Christian Eriksson is next in there for you. So Lisandro Martinez back in Holland today. He's been very clear with Ajax, telling the club that he only wants to leave to try this first Premier League experience. Ajax, Manchester United are pushing as Ten Hag wants Lisandro as priority. Arsenal still there fighting for this day to come to happening. So Lisandro Martinez has flown to a side which goes by names of Holland from Argentina where he was undergoing his holiday in there for you and doing the greatness in there for him so the man who goes with well, Sandro martinez has returned to holland where ajax is but he's telling them i want to go in and join the premier league he has not yet decided which club he's going to go to but if united if all the united or arsenal if any of those clubs comes with a very convincing offer he'll go into that and that's what will go in there for you now we had sorry 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 we have we have Sith of Sky Sports. He's known as Damesche Sith. He has said United continue positive talks with Ajax for defender Alessandro Martinez. There is a small gap in valuation. Man United share an excellent relationship with Ajax and Martinez is keen to reunite with Ten Hag in there for you. So it's all about positive news about a player who goes by the names of Lisandro Martinez. And John Cross Cross has come and retold us he's a chief football writer and author in there for years come and told us that Lisandro Martinez pleaded with Ajax on Monday to grant him his wish to move to the Premier League and by the way he shouldn't even plead that's why I doubt this story this is just a tapping merchant in the contract that he signed in December with Ajax there was a clause that when a team from the Premier League came in through to take him they'll allow him to go so a team which goes by names of Ajax doesn't have any stand in this. Who has the upper hand? It's Lisandro Martinez. He signed a contract and told them that we, are, when a team comes in and gives you the offer you want, I will go. United and Arsenal are all tied at thirty-eight million pounds. So, United is five million pounds apart from the realistic valuation of Ajax for this player. Arsenal is still like six million pounds apart. So we wait and see what is really going to happen. And say that Arsenal have scheduled a meeting with Ajax today on Monday. So we are waiting to see what news is going to come out from a side which goes by the names of Ajax in here onto United Matters Channel. We get into the Ericsson story. Sources have indicated that clubs were informed that Christian Ericsson wanted a contract worth two hundred thousand pounds a week plus 10 million pounds high on fee but it's unclear whether or not united have made those alleged demands but the sign on fee is okay because we look at the quality of ericsson getting him at 10 million pounds my god if he was really tied to a contract from a certain team he wouldn't have gone for 10 million pounds you know that very well he's really a quality player playing very well and he's really one of those players that is really good he dedicates play he is technically gifted he's intelligent his player is not questionable and he always uses his feet and the ball to run not his body in there for you he is good at making assists and i know you are really going to make very many assists and really have more control of the game than never before in there for you so ericsson rumor has it that united is giving him 150,000 pounds a week that's what United is giving him. And this £200,000 a week rumor coming in from somewhere. I don't really believe it. But even if he really gets it, because he's, he, he's worth it. If you pay if you pay Harry Maguire £200,000 a week, why not pay it to Ericsson? If McTominay is earning like £140,000 a week, why not pay it to Ericsson? You get I see no, I see no reason. 
to come in and really deny him a contract. Samuel Lucas from the Manchester United Evening News, correspondent of Manchester United, he has gone ahead to say that Manchester United did move for Ericsson three years ago when Spurs invited them to bid. Tremendous. He has resumed his career. Never mind the productivity. Never, never mind the productive form for Bradford. Never mind the productive form for Brentford. Manchester United, obviously, a huge hope, a huge step up, and his role will be interesting. Another Dutch footballer affiliate, Eric Ten Hag, targeted in there. We all know that he is really one of those players that was in Ajax before he came to Spurs. Then afterwards, he went to Inter Milan, and when he really got that cardiac arrest, he really went and trained with Eric Ten Hag at Ajax. You know that very well. Then he will return to a side which goes by the names of Brentford in there for you. But it's good to see him back and signing for United. And what a signing for Manchester United in there for you. So Christian Eriksson is coming at United to do the needful in there as deserved as it will deserve in there for you. Then we have the move for Eriksson is not expected to impact Manchester United's desire to sign to sign first choice midfielder Frankie De Jong. So United is really so much focused on bringing in De Jong. Even though Ericsson is coming in, there's no one coming there and lie to you that United is really not going for the move of Frankie De Jong. And it's really in advanced stages. You've seen his agent at Manchester United and everything that is really happening in here for you. So today, what I'm really telling you about is all about Ericsson expected to be at Manchester United and De Jong is expected to be at Manchester United. Talking about Frankie De Jong, there is a story that has been reported by Sith of Sky Sports that positive dialogues between United and Barcelona over Frankie De Jong. United are very relaxed about the situation and the board agreement, which is understood to be an initial of 65 million pounds, sorry, million euros and add-ons. That has been agreed already and we know it. That's why Sky Sports sometimes is so backward in there for you. And by the way, they have been really off the grid. The good thing with them is that when a story breaks on social media, when they really broadcast it, it really becomes famous because at least for them, they have really very many followers in there. If we look at their Twitter only, Sky Sports News, it has 10 million followers. So it he is really so much followed. So Sith really came out and broke that in there for you. Now, let's talk to this saga that I never really talked about that confirmed Fabrizio Romano said about this in the morning. The, the reason that's why I'm really talking about this is simple. I never talked about it. Confirmed. Cristiano Ronaldo to miss return to Manchester United training today due to family reasons. Club have accepted this explanation. Man United are aware of his desire to leave the club but insist on their position, not for sale, want to keep him. But this is a lie. He does not have family problems. I've come to know that he has been in Portugal today at the training facility of the Portuguese national team. That's where he has been in Lisbon. So Ronaldo is just lying. One thing I've known is that, and I've come to accept, United and Ronaldo sat on a round table after Eric Ten Hag coming out and really letting people that I'm not going to really <coughs> be using Ronaldo in my team. I'll plan to get a solution on who's going to read my line, but he cannot fit in my team. People won't want to listen to this. Ronaldo fans won't want to listen to this. People who think that Ronaldo represents them at Manchester United won't want to listen to this, but that's the fact. It's the fact that you'll hate, but yet it's true. Ronaldo Cristiano is not wanted by Eric Ten Hag. They sat on, the, they sat on a round table. They agreed that let Ronaldo take it on his side that he wants to leave Manchester United and go and play in the Champions League. That's it. But they never wanted it to look like United have really thrown Ronaldo under the bus. But the fact is, Ronaldo was thrown under the bus. And I've, had, I've read the story that Rannick had already advised the board to really get rid of Ronaldo. Because if you're planning a rebuild, then why do you have a 37-year-old player onto the field of play? You get? So United already knew of the situation. That's why you see them, they've not posted anything about Ronaldo. And I'll be very much surprised for them to post anything concerning Ronaldo anymore. You get because they know he's really going to Chelsea and is pushing for more of that side in there for you. But to me, I really feel like he can't go. He should go. You get? Because I remember 
there is a season before he came in here bruno was in double figures cavani was in double figures um rashford was in double figures we had almost four players in double figures you get ronaldo coming in through everything goes back to ground zero so the board has really come out to know that it was a mistake to sign Ronaldo in there for you because the rebuild doesn't rotate on players like Ronaldo in there for you who are really at that age in there for you. So thank you for watching it. Smash the like button, comment and share. Tell me what you think about these stories of Ronaldo and his agent Ronaldo not reporting to training. That's having family problems yet we've seen him in Portugal training. Now Ericsson Medical scheduled the young agent in Manchester that all in the story and your reactions are welcome into the comment section below go by the names of rock and david i sign out for now see you later my mates and good night